Hey guys, how, how is everybody out there? Hope everybody's having a wonderful Mandela Effect evening. Um, I bring you a probably the most laughable Mandela Effect yet uh, discovered. This one comes to you from Rena Jaseel. Um, she brought this to my attention earlier today, and that's the reason why I have this laughing emoji, like almost to the point of crying here, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to love this one. So the word finna, F-I-N-N-A, F -I -N -N -A, has always been in existence since like the uh, apparently like the 1800s or even before that and it was used a lot actually from like 19 uh, there's apparently a lot of southern slang uh, because what it means is going to intended to fix into I know this is I'm from the south so this is like a southern thing they say fixing a uh, means I'm about to do something right um, so yeah it's if you look at the curve here it was used a lot in the 50s, apparently. Um, so whoever is making these changes uh, to the words and everything, our language uh, would appear to be of Southern dialect, perhaps. Um, but there, there's another um, change. Uh, you guys all heard of that one uh, Thriller song? You know, in, in, the, in the Thriller sequence, uh, uh, Vincent Price, he says, terrorize y'all's neighborhood and he's supposed to say terrorize your neighborhood well see y'all's is like a southern term like y, uh, y apostrophe a l l that's what we're seeing here with this finna okay because and, and look at the f and the i uh look how they're changing the typesets you see that the the dot on the i where did it go it's gone completely gone from almost all of these uh font styles so, um, that, that's the thing. So let's hear it. Let's hear finna, it. Finna. 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 All right. So I found a couple things here. I, I wanted to check Google Books for sure and Google Newspapers. And uh, probably lastly, I'll check Trends. But um, this, I only found a couple of bo books where it says Finna. Use the way, um, apparently it's it's even in the Oxford Dictionary alright so yeah there's that laughing face again <laughs> um, so Love's Remix uh, this is by A. A. Winnin Latrice I can't even pronounce that right sorry but it says here I don't know what we're finna do right he made it sound like he was trying to get back together but now it's like he's not sure Jada explained to Essence the, the, and you guys can are free to laugh at my southern slang, okay? But yeah, finna is definitely not an English word in my book. It was like fixing to, like, uh, it was like F-I, and you take out the X. Um, so apparently it's not even a contraction anymore, like it should be. It should be a contraction, but it's bad grammar. Um, another one that I found, okay, um, well, actually... This was interesting. This was not a uh, southern slang here. This is from a book. Uh, it's called Gabra by Anisia Kassam. And it says the motion, or excuse me, the notion of development in Oromo is expressed by the term finna. F-I-N-N-A. The word finna comes from the, comes from the verb fidu or fidu, meaning to hand down and refers to the rich cultural heritage of the past that is passed down from generation to generation. Finna consists of a cycle of eight forms of growth. I thought about that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, notice the F and the I, where did the dot go? Apparently, um, you know, that particular font style, it does that too with the lowercase f's. Um, I, I, I checked Google newspapers, uh, there's only two pages, right? Um, some of these are in Spanish, most of them in fact, probably, there, there are some uh, English, but Finna is also, happens to be, also happens to be a girl's name, so that's what a lot of these are, and Terra Finna is actually a place, so I could not find very many pages on, on Google newspapers, so if, that, if we start seeing a whole slew of uh, newspaper pages coming up soon, then that means that's a definite change, okay, they can't change my voice. Um, so here's an article I found from Bustle, right? Um, what does finna mean? Here's everything you need to know about the slang term. It says right here, slang term, okay? Because fish have nothing to do with it.
Uh, they, they thought, like, you know, Finns, Finna, get it? Yeah, there's that laughing face again. <laughs> um, so, um, so slang changes as quickly as fashion does, right? You know, because we have that word, that new word that came out uh, probably in 2012, I think, twerking. You know, that was kind of a new word. We have thick, uh, T-H-I-C-C. If you haven't heard of the word thick, it's a real word. Uh, it, it has to do with a, a nice booty, I suppose. But, um, yeah, T-H-I-C-C. -C. Um, so slang, like I said, the slang changes, right? But finna is abbreviation to the phrase, or for the phrase fixin' to. It is essentially used in, in place of the more common and more easily understandable gonna, which is short for gonna, going to. If you're finna do something, uh, you're going to or planning to do it. It should be a contraction. Okay. For example, if you tell someone that you're finna take a walk around the block, what you mean is I'm going to take a walk around the block. Um, it seems like everyone is saying finna these days, but the expression has actually gotten its roots in African American uh, vernacular English. Whoa. Most etymologists trace it back to a shortcoming of the very common southern phrase, fix, fixing to. Julia Thomas and Timothy Grinzel, two linguistic researchers from the University of Chicago. Okay, I, uh, you guys can read up on this later, but um, I, here's one. I'm finna, I'm finna take several naps because that's what Saturdays are for. You know, just some examples here. It's summer. And I'm not finna let the season go by without maximizing my time in the sunlight. See, um, I'm finna take a bath. I'm finna take a shower. You know, we say that word in the South. Um, here's here's topics.com. I figured I'd pull a lot of these forums into play here to see what other people had to say about it. Uh, why, why do, um, I'll just say African-American people use the word finna, right? So you go down to here to number six and look at this. This guy says, uh, he references the question. He says, I reference to your question. First, I'm African-American, right? And I've never in my life heard that so-called word. Where in the heck do you live? So, I don't know. Like, like seriously, um, gosh. It says here, um, Bob Joe responds, dude, are you serious? Do you live under a rock? You must have grown up in a very, very formal place because every African-American person should have the word finna in their vocabs, right? So I just, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I thought I'd check Urban Dictionary because Urban Dictionary seems to be up to, up to par, I guess. Uh, the word seemed to be used in June 2013 a lot. Look at this, the frequency. Uh, it's not used as much right now. Let's see, finna directly means fixing, a common southern slang word that is used in the place of going to do or attempting. And try is used in the place of challenging. Yeah, like if you if someone's going to try you, that means they're challenging you. Finna means fixing to do. So yeah, I mean, this is crazy. I, I wanted to get a teacher on, on here to talk about it with them. Um... I couldn't find any teachers who are affected by the Mandela, but I would like to see in the comments if you guys are any teachers, if you can vouch for me on this one that it's a true change. Um, fixin' to, we used to say fixin' to, we never said finna. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, when I was in middle school, when we moved down to the south, everybody was saying fixin' to. Um, but, but they never used the word finna. I don't know where this term came from, but it's not... And, but the strange thing is it's in the Oxford Dictionary. Um, finna. Whoops. Um, yeah, Serena, so good find for sure. I'm trying to pull this up now. Okay, Finna. Finna. Yeah. So, um, or uh, alliteration of fixing to. So... I don't know, you guys. This is one of those that's going to like, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to have your, your peeps laughing. They're going to be laughing their butts off here. Um, I, I figure we question some people on the street in this video. So thanks to uh, Hot New Hip Hop in 2014 for producing this video. What does fit in me? Like 
finished? Kind of means finished. Sounds like fila. So I'm gonna say I'd like to get some new fena kicks. Oh, like fitting? Like in the south, I'm fitting to go. I'm going somewhere. I'm about to. I'm gonna say it's kind of like I'm fixing to do something. Fena? I finna, I finna drink a beer right now. That means I want to go and drink oh, a beer. Two, two. All right, so you guys get the picture. Uh, anyway, share this one with your friends. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, for, guys, for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless.